Welcome to Code Spider. In this video, we are going to discuss Start in ASP.NET Core MVC. In this video, we cover what is underscore Buestart.cshtml file, use of Buestart file, Buestart hierarchy, and many more. Let's first discuss why do you need underscore Buestart.cshtml file in ASP.NET Core MVC application. As of now, we have used the layout property to associate a view with a layout using below code layout equal to views shared then the layout.cshtml file. Let's flip to Visual Studio and we will discuss about more about the viewstat.cshtml. You can see here this is our layout.cshtml file and this layout.cshtml is implemented the index.cshtml like this. The physical path of the layout.cshtml it present on the views and on the shared folder. Also this layout is implemented on aboutus.cshtml as well as contactus.cshtml. You can see that one layout.cshtml file is implemented in three views. Suppose we have 100 plus views in our application and all the 100 plus views want to use the same layout file. Then we need to set the layout property using like this in every phase of our views. So this violates the DIY principle. Don't repeat yourself. The DIY principle says to reduce the redundant code. That means the duplication of code and the maintenance overhead. Let's discuss on more what is duplication of code and the maintenance overhead if you're using like this layout in every phase. Suppose on Fuser, if you want to use a different layout, then we need to update the layout property in each and every individual view. This process is tedious, time consuming as well as error prone because you may miss updating the property in some of the views. To solve the above problem, we need to use the viewstat.cshtml file. Let's quickly discuss what is viewstat.cshtml file in sp.net core mvc application. In sp.net core mvc application, the viewstat.cshtml file is a special type of file and code present in this file going to be executed before the code in an individual view is executed. That means when our application is executed, first it execute the viewstat.cshtml file then secondly it render the particular view page so let's see how to create a viewstat.cshtml file and how to use in sp.net core mvc application to create a viewstat.cshtml file right click on the views folder then add new item then here you need to search as razor you can see there there is a file razor view start and you can see that the file name is start from underscore view start .cshtml. earlier we have already discussed the underscore started means it should be commonly shareable in our application that means this file is shareable among our application click add button you can now see the view start .cshtml has been created on the views folder and it holds the property of layout equal to underscore layout. As in the shared folder, we have already the layout.cshtml, so it holds the layout property. In general, the viewstat.cshtml file are created within the views or within the subfolder of the views. Currently, we have created the viewstat.cshtml under the views folder. We can also create the viewstat.cshtml under the subfolder of the views. We will discuss that in a little bit how to create the viewstat.cshtml in the subfolder and what the use of it. For now, as you can see that the viewstat.cshtml is hold the layout property of underscore layout. So there is no need to type in the index.cshtml or about us or contact us of the layout property. So just remove this. Save this and run the application and we'll see that this is working perfectly or not. You can see now everything is working perfectly. The index.cshtml is hold the layout design of our application. As well as in about us space, contact us space, everything is working perfectly. This is due to when our application is called, first it go to the viewstat.cshtml and here we found that layout equal to underscore layout. Then there is no need to call the layout property in every phase. So that the viewstat.cshtml provides the better maintainability and uh, to avoid the duplication of the code. That means on Fuser, suppose we have another layout.cshtml file, then we simply change here only. There is no need to change in every phase because if we have not used in every phase the layout property, we just simply use the layout property in the viewstat.cshtml. Let's create another layout.cshtml file 
and we'll see that how the bootstrap.cshtml has been created on the subfolder of our application and how it works. So first we need to create a layout page. Right click, add new item, then type here as razor, choose as razor layout. Let's say the name is my layout. Click add. You can see that there is some custom code of the main layout.cshtml. Here you can see that previously the bootstrap.cshtml is hold the information of underscore layout page. So let's change it to my layout. Save this, run this application. Okay, I got this issue because of in our previous video, we have used the render section of alert and scripts just for the timing. Let's block this and block this one as well. Save this, reload the page. You can see that it is working perfectly. When you right click and go to the view page source, you can see that this is our custom code of index.cshtml page and this is the layout page of information. Suppose we change something in the mylayout.cshtml. Let's add here. Save this. Refresh this. You can see that my layout is coming here. Let's reload this as well. You can see that there is in the body tag, the my layout is rendered also. So accordingly, on future, if you choose another layout page, then we can simply change in the bootstrap.cshtml and every child page is working perfectly. There is no need to change in one by one page. Let's make us layout again. Currently, I have two layout pages. One is underscore layout.cshtml, another is underscore my layout.cshtml. Let's see how the bootstrap.cshtml is work on the subfolder of our application. You can see that here the views folder and the home is a subfolder. So let's create a bootstrap.cshtml in this location. Add new item. Type was razor. Razor bootstrap. Click add here. Let's open this bootstrap.cshtml and this one as well. You can see that in the views folder, there is also a bootstrap.cshtml and in the subfolder of home, another is bootstrap.cshtml. This bootstrap.cshtml is hold the layout property of underscore layout. Whereas this bootstrap.cshtml that present on the home subfolder, it also holds the same layout property. Let's make us my layout. That means I want that my root bootstrap.cshtml is hold the this layout property on the subfolder of bootstrap.cshtml is hold the layout of, of underscore my layout.cshtml. That means suppose when we run our application, then we need to understand what our the index.cshtml hold which layout. Is it hold the layout.cshtml layout or it hold the my layout.cshtml property. So let's run the application and we'll see that. You can see that the index.cshtml is hold the my layout.cshtml property and it does not call the layout.cshtml property. This is due to here on the root folder, we have declared the bootstrap.cshtml, but in the home, we have declared another bootstrap.cshtml. And this bootstrap.cshtml hold the layout of my layout so that this bootstrap is overhead the property of layout. So that when the application is called, first it go to the bootstrap.cshtml and load the layout.cshtml. Then again, it go to the subfolder of the home. Then it found the bootstrap.cshtml here also then it got the layout property of my layout so this layout is override this one so the index.cshtml is hold the my layout property so right click on view page source you can see that it hold the my layout cshtml suppose i make change as layout only then reload this you can see that it working perfectly because of this bootstrap.cshtml hold is the layout property. Let's make us my layout as well. And you can see that we have used two bootstrap.cshtml. One is the root folder of views and another is the subfolder of the views. So this is called the hierarchy structure of bootstrap.cshtml file. As you already discussed, we can place the bootstrap file, views folder and its subfolder. So need to understand the hierarchical order of the bootstrap file. 
you can see that this index.cshtml having the no layout property but we have using the viewstar.cshtml having the layout of my layout suppose in index.cshtml we don't want to use any layout so we need to set as layout property here equal to null simply we type as null let's reload this you can see that the my layout is gone out and whenever right click on the view page source you can see that there is nothing in the html code this is due to i have set the layout property equal to null this layout property is override to existing viewstar.cshtml layout let's remove for now and also remove this viewstart as well for demo purpose i have to create this so let's understand another point is how to select a layout conditionally in the viewstart file we have two layout one is underscore layout and another is my layout so how to set as dynamically the layout property well this should be done as using this line of code we can set in the viewstart.cshtml file with different layout in an sp.net core mbc application we may have the multiple layout views so let's say you have two layouts such as underscore layout.cshtml another is my layout.cshtml and if you want to select the layout based on the user role that is if the user role is customer then it should access our layout.cshtml if it is non-customer then it should be access as my layout.cshtml and currently i am not defining the user is in role this is a model class property and on our upcoming videos we go through the details about how to set the different layout for the different users so this is all about how to use the viewstar.cshtml in sp.net core mbc application let's discuss about the final observation of the viewstar in sp.net core the code in viewstar is executed before the code on individual view that means first it called the viewstar.cshtml file and find there the layout property then it should go to the individual view then move the common code such as setting the layout property to the viewstart viewstart reduce the code redundancy and improves maintainability viewstart file is hierarchical as we have already discussed there that's it in the video do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos thanks for watching